Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kyle Kashuv perfectly outlines leftist hysteria to come following Santa Fe tragedy. Another month, another school shooting that needn't have happened. This time, it occurred in the town of Santa Fe, Texas, claiming the lives of 10 people. Perhaps unsurprisingly, none of the gun laws proposed in the wake of the Parkland shooting would have had any difference. The suspect apparently got the firearms from his father and neither one of them fit into the assault rifle category or had high-capacity magazines. Instead, the shooter was able to kill with just a shotgun and a pistol, neither of which, we were told, presented the kind of mass shooting threat that R-15s did. These very salient facts didn't prevent Parkland activists from taking to social media and claiming some sort of sick victory for their gun-grabbing agenda. Here was one tweet from Cameron Kasky, one of the more visible of the Parkland anti-gun activists. Before we get to the response from another Parkland survivor with a different take on this, let's point out that aside from the first sentence, everything in this tweet is prima facie untrue or misleading. The NRA doesn't use tragedies to boast about higher donations, probably because they're not degenerate opportunists. As for the crisis actors part, I think this only applies to a very disturbed subset of individuals who think that Alex Jones isn't full of nonsense. As for the right-wing media attacking the survivors, where is Kasky seeing this? Where did he see this during Parkland? The only reason Kasky and his coterie of survivors got criticized was because they ventured into the political arena and demanded Americans give up their guns. You can't ask people to give up their constitutional rights and then hide behind being a Parkland survivor when the people fight back. However, Kashub managed to get the best of Kasky even more effectively than I did, using the exact same format he did. Exactly. The NRA was not responsible for what happened Friday. The shooter was. A lack of gun control wasn't responsible for the shooting, especially given that neither gun used would have been covered under any gun control scheme currently being proposed. A lack of caution and a grave moral crisis among our youth, and not just among our youth, seems to be, at least at this early hour, the impetus behind this tragedy. And yes, as usual, the right-wing media and everyone who supports them is being pegged as accomplices to murder because they support the Second Amendment. In the wake of the shooting, Texas Governor Greg Abbott talked about speeding up background checks and keeping firearms away from individuals who pose immediate danger. Whether or not that would have prevented what happened in Santa Fe, Texas is something that's going to up for debate for a long time. What's clear is that what Kasky and his other gun control activist friends are proposing would have done absolutely nothing. Kashub is right. It's time for us to start looking for real solutions to the problem, campus carry, increased school security, paying attention to red flags, instead of reflexively calling for all guns to be banned. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.